another video guys today in this video I'm going to show you how we can flash Android 13 in Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 and of course full installation process and full review uh, you guys will be able to watch in that video so watch till the end and really thanks to Aditya for uh, building Android 13 and official build of course uh, this is Blaze OS 2.0 Rise and my device already booted into recovery then as usual you guys already know how to flash just uh, go to wipe section and select Dalby data cache and system and vendor as well then of course swipe to wipe and when you are done remember one thing when you are upgrading or downgrading uh, when you are just upgrading you don't need to do format data but sometimes we need to do that but uh, the secure process will be uh, format your data so I recommend you guys to do clean flash so that you guys can get better performance and just type yes so everything is done just get back and navigate to the folder you have stored your files or downloaded the files so I have mine here and here is the Android 13 and Blaze 2.0 rise just select the file and of course I'm using here the vanilla build you guys always get better performance in vanilla build so I always recommend you guys to use vanilla build and we have here the new caps so when you are done selecting both files G apps and the ROM files then swipe to flash so finally ROM and Nick caps already flashed so just click here the reboot system and wait until your device boots up so device is booting finally and here you guys can see the blaze OS re uh, boot animation is here so that means a device is booting and I will show you the first boot interface so device booted and after completing setup and uh, testing the full ROM then I will do the full review so I did complete setup on project blaze 2.0 and which is rise android 13 and you guys already watched the installation process and I have completed the full setup right now and uh, here is the review so before I start the review I will show you how you can just root that android 13 one so boot your device into recovery so I am skipping that part so device booted into recovery now just navigate to the folder you have stored your magic file but remember one thing if you want to root your legacy type device that means the low end device type so you need only 24.3 version magic so navigate to the folder so here is the magic 24.3 you guys can see just select that one not this one here is a 24.3 if you want to root your Android 13 of course use that magic not others like 25.2 or above or lower just install this one only this one when you are done flashing just reboot system now click reboot system and your device will boot into uh, your system and device finally booted and our device is rooted right now and this is the uh, lock screen of uh, blaze os and you guys can change that lock screen style like this So you guys will get an animation or sound effect when you just lock and unlock your device. So where is the magisk? Now let me uh, completely install the magisk. Let me download it. So downloading completed. So magisk is perfectly installed in our device. And remember one thing this android 13 is by default safety net passed so no issues with that you guys can easily use any banking applications and other things and if you want to pass safety net by default after installing this magic then just go to installation section before you if you want to 
install the module let me show you just flash the safety net fix file so you are done when you are done just get back and go to settings option and of course enable JISC and of course enforce denialist now get back and reboot system so our device is booted finally now let me show you safety net by default pass or not so here is the safety net checker so you guys can see safety net is passed let me run in front of you guys so this is the way you guys can fix no problem with that now let's get into the main topic and which will be review and this is the user interface and you guys can change that uh, new ui uh, in settings i will show you that and you guys will uh, get change here high user and if you open it in evening you guys will get good evening and good night type uh, greetings on the top and welcome to project place and really thanks to aditya again for building this one and for his great work and here is the maintainer name and blaze os version 2.0 android version 13 and let me show you that star egg and this is android 13 star egg and you guys will be able to change the background like this and it will keep changing so that's it and we have kernel used here since parf and selenx status is enforcing And I'm using here the vanilla build, you guys will get uh, GFs build as well. So I don't recommend you guys to use the GFs build, always try to use a vanilla build so that you guys can uh, choose GFs according to your choice. And here we have the gesture option as it is the first build of Android 13. So uh, this is it and some customizations are missing. Gradually in future updates we will get uh, those missing uh, features. no issues with uh, the smoothness and other things i will do the video in short so here is the things and ui of the setting you guys already know about that and here is the uh, quick tiles or control center whatever you say and this in android 12 and android 13 uh, the control center maybe some people uh, don't like but this is uh, like a previous Android 11 or other but this is a bit different in Blaze OS so which we really like and this is the UI I think you guys always like it and everything is fine everything working fine or Bluetooth works for everything fixed in that build so no issues and calling issue fixed you guys can easily use in your daily life no problem any smoothness is just awesome and in battery section you guys can see the graph just like the MIUI and we have some other things like current battery capacity and charge cycles completed and battery uses you guys can uh, see from here and battery manager as well everything is included and battery temperature is as well then we have privacy and security of course we don't have any app lock and face unlock yet but in future updates we will get it this is official build so don't worry about that and then we have the notifications and sound and vibrations as well as usual we have other things and i forgot to show you from uh, system i guess and here is the device settings if you want to improve your sound quality of course you guys can enable that in my sound enhancer and display color calibration i already showed that device settings in many videos and of course we have that thermal profiles this is really cool now let's uh, get into main topic uh, here is the display setting as usual we have uh, so everything here and colors saturations uh, night light screen saver double to wake everything is fine now let's get into the blaze house and where is the customization hub and lock screen clock style i'm using all oxygen OS. you guys can select any and this is a font of course huge collection of fonts are here you guys can choose according to your choice and icon packs i'm using here you guys can change and i'm using that one sam signal icon wi-fi icon everything and setting style old ui and new ui old ui you guys already know about that and new ui i already showed you right now then we have other things like status bar items as usual we always had it 
and cloak customizations and battery customizations for battery percentage and that's it and in future we will get more features and traffic indicator is perfectly working i already checked no issues with that and double tap to sleep and other things 4g volte notification counts everything is fine and brightness slider and other things you guys can see here the data uses and in control centers the ui in android 13 a bit change if you just click on the power menu you will be able to uh, power off or go to advanced options if you want to go then and you guys can uh, directly access your settings from here and reticker as well and here we have that things and as it is the first build so we don't expect a uh, huge customization but this is perfect now let's talk about the smoothness here and which is perfect and now let me show you other things uh, like cpu throttling i checked it few uh, minutes ago i guess and here is the battery uh, at night uh, when 11 25 uh, 9 october you guys can see here and battery was 80 percent and data was enabled that means wi-fi was enabled and in the morning well, when time was 11 Zero 03 that means uh, almost 12 hours gone and only 2% battery drain just for the first day when I install the room and if you keep using the room you will get more stable performance and more better battery backup so that's it about battery backup now let's talk about uh, the Geekbench score and I ran it for second times and performance is just getting improved day by day and here you guys can see the single core score which is really mind blowing 271 and things are really improved and multi core score 1024 now let's compare single core as usual average 262 that means here we have the 271 and which is really better and then multi core score as usual we have 1029 but uh, here we have 1024 but a bit lower and it will be improved if you keep using the room for some days and you guys can play games no problem just use magic module and you are good to go and of course here is gcam lmc i already did the review another best gcam uh, you guys can try this on your redmi y3 and redmi uh, 7 devices and which is working fine no problem uh, but on the uh, you need to just install some uh, config files and I already provided that video if you miss then check out description for that and which is working fine in Android 13 and this is Nick Cap score I used already you guys watched in the installation process so that's it the smoothness is just just mind-blowing by default we have the Google camera go and that's is and uh, nothing to show you anything here so that's it hope you guys enjoy the video if you like my work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching